TCM gamers have yet a new problem on the rise, and despite being buffed, family can still feel... bad? Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy playing family, but the points discrepancy in my games can really make the role feel kind of bad to play. And simply put, unless I'm playing with a group of friends or I have a coordinated team in solo queue, which, let's face it, is probably not gonna happen, the points just won't stack up. Because family gets such a small amount of points, it will usually take longer, more drawn out games. And again, if I'm not playing with friends or a coordinated group, that ain't happening either. I actually spent the past weekend streaming Majority Family to get a full detail on the points aspect of family. I made this quick chart in reference just for how many points you can get as each family member, but I also narrow down general actions that can help you stack up on points as well. As you can see, even without kills, Leatherface and Cook can get the most amount of points easily. Meanwhile, Johnny is probably the worst. But to remedy this, there are a couple of options. Number one, I think there should be bonuses depending on how long matches go on for family, just as they do with victims. Number two, each hit should be a minimum of 20 points, and additional damage dealt from non-hits, but instead modifiers like ability tiers and perks should reward five points per damage tick on things like serrated or bleed traps. Number three, Barging doors should give a minimum of 20 points as it wastes time for the family, but it also makes victims lose a valuable resource in the process. Number four, collecting blood should be 20 points minimum as well, due to it also being a slight waste of time depending on how victims play, but because we're in such a rush meta for victims especially, I think it's definitely a waste of time. Number five, latching doors should be 10 points minimum as it also makes victims lose a valuable resource. Number six, feeding grandpa should give points based off the amount. A simple figure for that could be 10 points per 20 blood or even 20 points per 20 blood. Number seven, make family point gain consistent whenever they activate their abilities. So for example, Johnny finding footprints and activating his ability to begin tracking, Hitch setting his traps, and even Sissy restocking on poison should reward at least 20 points. Number eight and last, I'd love for just bonuses in general for the family side. These could be simple things like finding the first victim, killing the first or last victim, getting the most hits or kills, and so many more possibilities. Either way, let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next one.